So I want to show you what lice and guinea pigs looks like. This here is a whole row of lice eggs that are attached very close to the skin on the hair shaft. So, and it's almost impossible to get them off. So we are going to try and we're going to treat this piggy with ivermectin. And this must be a recent infestation because I'm actually having a hard time pulling up the wriggly lice to show you, but he does have them. And they're so small. It's kind of hard. Okay, sweetie. And okay. we can see it. Alright. Okay. Uh, hello. And we're back with this dude who has lice. And I want to show you what they can look like. I'm having a hard time finding a life, little lice, because you can actually see them. They wriggle around. I can't really find them with this guy. Um, which means that's good, which means it's not like a massive infestation. However, it definitely has lice. So I'm actually going to show you the eggs that are right here. A whole row of eggs yeah. really close to the hair shaft. So I'm going to shave the hair off and see if I can, as close as I can get. And as you see, I shaved some off already and you'll see the eggs on here as well. Now Ivermectin will take care of this. So yep. This is an injectable ivermectin, actually. You can use a horse wormer paste that contains ivermectin that you can just get at Amazon, and you use a pea-sized amount in the mouth. Yes. And you can use that same stuff, actually, for um, mange as well, and as a preventative. So, yeah, pretty Are you going to amazing. inject this ivermectin? No. He just needs a little drop on his ear, actually. Okay. Uh, and that will get absorbed in the bloodstream. Veterinarians will, you know, they still inject that stuff. They, they think that that's the only way it can be administered. However, it's really painful for the piggies. And I found that if you just put a little drop on the ear, it gets absorbed into the, you know, through the skin and the veins, into the blood, that okay. works just as fine without, you know, a painful screaming out of guinea pig. Cool. So I'm going to just take it off as much as I can. And you know what? I've been trying to find a life one. Uh, like I said earlier, I can't find I really want to show you. But just know that they look tiny, teeny, and they kind of wriggle around a little bit. But that's what it looks like. So I'm going to shave it. And this will be like a three-week project before this is all gone. But it will all be gone. Struggling with this. This is not the best shaver, we need a new one. We should put it on our wish list. <laughs> That's all I got for now. So I really want to see if I can just get as close as possible to the skin. And does he need like a cream after that? Uh, no cream, no. Just the ivermectin, shave it close and then yeah. they'll just And baths, shampoos. What kind? Is there a special kind of shampoo? No, you can just use any regular, but you know, there's a lice, people lice shampoo. You can use it, but it's very aggressive. So I always think maybe better to just do regular shampoo and monitor it, administer the ivermectin. Uh -huh. and, uh, but this, I'm gonna try and wash it off, all these eggs here, or okay. peel them off or something, because this is gonna hatch into little nasty little wriggly lice. We don't want that. Yikes. So always check your guinea pig skin. Yeah, but if they live inside... Now, also, when they have lice, yeah. uh, usually you'll see that the hair is broken. You'll see, like, pieces of broken hair. When you open it up like this, the, the, the coat, and you look onto the skin, and you'll notice that there's, like, broken pieces. However, that's not the case here, which tells me also that this is a fairly, you know, recent thing. They're not itchy. Um, they're not really showing any of the usual signs of a skin uh, mite, a lice infestation. Um, but yeah, I think I found the life on here. Yep. Scotty? Okay, here, I'm going to come around. I discovered him, so he's trying to wriggle away. He's right here. Let's see if I can get him. Right there where my nail is. Oh, I see something. I think I see him. Because I don't see him anymore. Can you tell if it's a boy or a girl? 
we could bond bond them. Yeah, that's the way to find them is just to go really onto the skin. And what happens if you just ignore Oh, they're species specific. Okay. Uh, if you just ignore this, well, they're going to be super itchy and they're going to become anemic because these are blood suckers. But this isn't something that we can catch? No, species specific. They have no interest in humans or any other dog or cat. No. I'm surprised your hair is so incredible, Saskia. I'm surprised they don't want to jump in there. <laughs> I'm not afraid. <laughs> okay, well, I think we got that one. And we only have about 15 seconds left of uh, video space on your phone. You gotta All right. do well, a data dump. Okay. That's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, here's another one. Another one. Two. 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 Where? Right here. Okay, it's blinking. We got five seconds. Four, three. Thanks for watching, everybody.